Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel, I'm the founder of Tiny Rig. And today we're walking you guys through something a little different than we normally do. Uh, this is a trailer that we rewired. A um, lot of work went into it. We completely gutted it um, and, and redid everything. So we're gonna walk through the trailer and then we're gonna also check out the vehicle. We've worked on this vehicle uh, a few years ago, did some changes to it. And so we're gonna start up front, show you guys what's going on and work our way back. So little thing, I guess a little bit about the owner. Uh, he came to us uh, somewhere between three and four years ago and uh, wanted us to do some goose gear. We'll jump into that. Um, but it's fun because his mind, I would say like works similar to how we do stuff uh, a lot of times. And he's made some really cool modifications to the Forerunner since we've seen it last. Um, he does have it supercharged, which is fun. And we just drove it down the street to our normal filming location and it pulls the tra trailer no problem. It feels really good. Doesn't feel like the truck's being uh, strained at all. Um, so fun little thing there, obviously. Superchargers are always rad. And then as far as what we did this visit, uh, we upgraded the start battery to a full throttle. Uh, it's a Group 24F. And again, I'm sure if you guys have seen our videos before, we've been doing those more and more. Um, the fuse you'll see here is uh, the fuse for the alternator charging system that we'll walk you guys back through but obviously we needed to, to be able to get power to the back of the Forerunner so we could plug that trailer in. So quick peek of what we've got going on inside. Uh, he's got some nice seat covers, but also he's got some Blue Ridge Overland bags. Um, and then when he brought it to us, uh, we ended up doing the Goose Gear seat delete and uh, base plate in the rear for him with the, uh, the intention of putting the truck vault system on top of that. So um, he liked the, the drawer options that he could get with truck vault more than what he was able to get with Goose Gear at the time. Um, and some of the functionality of it. But uh, he wanted to make sure he had the Goose Gear base plate because it fit the vehicle really well and then also connected with that seat delete. So back here, we're not gonna open all of his drawers, but there is this cool table here that he's got set up that I thought you guys would, would dig. Um, and then also this guy's carpeted and you guys can see it's got a, a cool wood finish. So um, rad product. When the vehicle came to us, it didn't have this additional Anderson here. Um, and it also didn't have the power over here. It just simply had the seven way harness for the trailer. Uh, what we ended up doing is we added a large Anderson connection here right next to the seven way so that he at the same time will plug into both. We've got just some Velcro holding it to that seven way. And then we got enough slack in here so that you can fully maneuver the trailer and then a weatherproof plug so that when he's not towing, he can close that up. Uh, we also put dielectric grease on all of the contact points so that he doesn't experience any corrosion there. So here's that other Anderson connection. And what that's going to allow us to do is kind of shorten the run up when he's not using the trailer. So disconnect here, disconnect there, put the cap on, and then he can store that harness inside of where we've done all of our electrical work. So we will uh, we'll put, up, put up on the screen the, the before pictures of what's going on here. Now, this trailer was made by a manufacturer that's no longer in business, and they did a really good job building the structure of the trailer. Uh, it's super well thought out, and it's really, really well built, but you could tell that uh, electrical was just not their strong point. So um, the owner actually bought this on Bring a Trailer, and uh, he got it for a steal, but uh, when he purchased it, he realized that just the electrical it fell short. So um, he had seen the work we had done in the past, and him having an aerospace background, when he was at the shop getting the goose gear, he really appreciated the way that we wired things up, labeled, um, and just have a super methodical approach with the way we do our electronics. So uh, Jeff really, really crushed it on this one. Um, from a component standpoint, we've got a 2000 watt red R converter. You have a connection up here, and then you also have a connection in the back of the trailer, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, for power, we're doing a DC to DC charger from Victron. That's the new Orion. It's a 50 amp charger. Previously, Victron really only had that 30 amp charger unless you ran something like a buck boost. Uh, for solar, we went ahead and did a, a Victron solar controller, um, as well as we plumbed that to the existing SAE connection on the side. He's got some portable solar panels that he's gonna plug into. Um, the previous fuse block that was in here was a fairly inexpensive, low quality Amazon style fuse block. And we replaced it with a safety hub. Um, that safety hub's got enough power and distribution capability to be able to handle everything that's up here and the additional circuits that are on the camper, but also allow for some future proofing. And what we ended up doing was we ran a 
six gauge wire from up here to the back to another fuse block so that in the future, if he ever wants to add any additional USB ports or connections in the back, uh, he can do that simply by just plugging straight into the, the Blue Sea fuse block that's in the back. So we'll call it big power up here and um, small distribution in the back. Um, he's got two rely on lithium batteries up here that uh, he already had when he came to us. So we wanted to reuse those. And then uh, it did come with the NOCO shore power charger. So we've retained that, bolted that down to the floor. And he still has a lot of extra storage in here now. So again, with the work that we do, high quality wire, high quality fuses, we're not buying Amazon fuses and putting them on uh, Blue Sea fuse blocks. We're buying name brand, high quality fuses, using high quality wire, high quality connectors, and making sure that everything that we do is gonna last forever. And then again, sleeving everything for that protection, the nice look, um, and then uh, labeling it as well. So to monitor the vehicle, we did a Victron shunt, which we've got Bluetooth capability on that. And then we've also got that battery monitor that we're gonna show you guys in a second. Moving to the back where I would say like it kind of the, the party's at with the trailer. Um, cool propane stove over here, uh, water with a water heater, propane as well, uh, shower connection here. He's got a switch right here, this came factory. Uh, we just reused it for the LED light that's off the back of this. And then the other switch here is for his water pump. So over here, uh, originally it came to us with these two 12 volt sockets and USB ports. What we ended up adding is the shore power connection right there. Uh, we ordered an outdoor cover that retracts automatically and it'll just help with the elements. And then we located that Victron battery monitor right here, which is hard to see. And we, we talked about locating it in another spot, but we wanted it somewhat protected from the water of the sink. And so again, with Bluetooth capability, um, and also you can see when you hit the button to, to see the light. So something that, again, wanted to, to put stuff in a place where it's gonna be protected, um, still plenty of function on there. And then what we ended up doing was he had previously had a, a different fridge. We did a National Luna with a mounting plate on there. Um, really cool setup. And then what I wanna show you guys is kind of how we took care of all the wiring. So obviously this whole setup here needs to be able to come in and out. And so to get all the wiring that we did um, in and out easily, we had to make sure it routed nicely. So he's got the water lines, um, but also we added quite a bit of electrical with the shore power um, that blue C block. And so Noah, if you can try to get in there, um, you guys can see that we just followed kind of the existing routing that was already there. And again, it worked out really well, maintained the, the flow of the, the sliding. So right now we're looking underneath the sink stove setup, and that's where we added that additional blue C block. Now there's a lot going on in that block and uh, making it look clean, but still like function correctly was pretty challenging. Um, everything is labeled, and again, the purpose behind this was just to make things more future-proof and cut down on the run that was going from front to back, back underneath the trailer. That was one of the main complaints and reasons why he wanted things rewired. There was previously, just from the factory, just a bunch of wires dangling, um, and he's worried about getting them caught up or going through water crossings and whatnot. So the way we've got that stuff set up right now, he's going to be good, and it's going to last forever. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, I, I really want to call out the fact that we see a lot of work from other shops that are bringing us electrical. And while they might be really fantastic at doing things like suspension, mounting rooftop tents, this is something that I think we really differentiate ourselves from the other businesses that are doing it. Um, whether it's a simple setup like lights or something more elaborate like this where we're completely doing a rewire project, we're going to crush it for you guys. We're going to make sure that every single little detail is thought of. The function of things is going to be there and we're going to do that with you. And that's part of what I would say the value that we add. We're not the cheapest, um, but we're gonna make sure that this is done in a way that's gonna last you forever. And we're gonna make sure that we meet all your needs. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you guys need any work to a trailer, an RV, a van, an off-road vehicle, side-by-side, -side, whatever it is, 12 volt, we got you. And uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, take care.